Uh, we've got some more people watching. Just want to let everybody know, Tuesdays and Thursdays going forward, we will be live on SBR Sports Picks YouTube page. That is the YouTube channel, SBR Sports Picks. You can find us over at sbrpicks.com slash CFB. We'll be doing a live college football show at 5.30 p.m. Central Time over there. Make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the little bell. That way you can be notified whenever we go live. It, uh, it should be a good time. We're going to have some fun talking the SEC schedule and from, uh, all the Big Ten mess that's going on. We'll, uh, we'll talk about all of that tomorrow. But for now, let's dive into this nice headline that I saw earlier today. Bruce Arians says Rob Gronkowski is struggling with Florida heat. And this is the quote he gave. He said, he's in New England shape right now. Now, what would you take that to mean? Uh, I, you know, he's just saying that, you know, the heat's getting to him. I, I think anybody that comes from, you know, the Northeast down to Florida to work out in the middle of August yep. is going to deal with this. 100%. And so I, I thought it was it was kind of poking a little bit of fun, it felt like. And it feels like Arians has got a good enough uh, rapport with these guys already that 100%. he can he can joke around with them. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you this. Like, you New a, England boys are soft a little bit, right? In a so. year, in a year in which locker rooms are going to be a little weird because nobody's been able to have chemistry and camaraderie and stuff, I, I think I would take that Bucks locker room over any locker room in the country. You might be right. I think Bruce, A, a lot of that is on Bruce, by the way. I think he's the most fun coach that there would be in the entire league to play for, maybe outside of Andy Reid. All right? Yeah, I, I could buy I think, that. I think, I think fat guys who like to throw the ball are a lot more fun and laid back to hang out with than my boy Bill Belichick, who's just an ass, okay? Uh, <laughs> and, and, and I think, you know, Tom Brady's a little bit of a nerd and goofy, but can laugh at himself. Rob Gronkowski is a complete party animal. And I think all those guys in that locker room are going to love having those dudes in there. I think Byron Leftwich is unbelievable. But I, I think the coaches and the players on that team are going to have more fun than any other team in the league this year. I think you might be right about that. Uh, the full quote here, he said uh, he's, he's probably in New England shape right now. He's not in Florida shape. The heat is kicking his ass pretty good. He said, it's different, man. When you train in New England and come down here, it's different. We laughed about it out there today. I don't think he has ever sweat that much in his life. Uh, he said, it takes a little time to get into Florida shape, but as far as playing a game, he is more than ready right now. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's hot. It's muggy. It's nasty down there, it, especially in Tampa. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy down in Florida right now. The heat is bananas. Uh, Michael Fritz jumps in. He said, Bruce is one of my favorite coaches in the league. Absolutely. It's same here. Darren McCardle. Uh, well, before we get to that, Damien jumps in. He said, what's up? What's up, Damien? How are you? And Darren McCardle asks this question. He said, what is the Miami Dolphins' chances since draft day? Uh, of what? Define I, chances of, like, winning some games? I guess Good. I guess their chances to make it winning to the, the playoffs. Division? I mean, let's Making just say playoffs. Wild card? I, I would say their chances of winning, like getting to the playoffs, eh, it's slim to none. But chances of improving, I think they could absolutely improve this year because, I mean, they return a bunch of guys. They played a bunch of young dudes last year. Uh, they hit on a lot of stuff in the draft. I mean, at least we think we did. But, you know, I I think Miami is set up well for the future so long as they don't pull the plug too early uh, on Brian Flores. And Chris, you agree with that? Yep. I think they're fine. Will they make the playoffs this year? No. Not at all. Matt Miller, he said uh, Miami. But they'll be better than – they won't be picking in the top five. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're going you know, to win some games. Matt Miller said uh, Miami will be 6-10 and 10 or 7-9. and nine. And I, I think yeah, that's it, about right. That sounds about right to me. I hadn't looked at their schedule, but yeah. So, I, I think that heat down there in Miami, uh, especially early in the year, can – Well, can yeah, they always games. get those New England teams. If they played them early, they always beat them in Miami. Yeah. Uh, well, and not even New England teams, but uh, you know anybody else that's not used to it, right? Because it. Well, yeah, but that's their division. All three of the other teams in their division are coming from the Northeast. Okay, yeah. Now you got a you got a point there. Buffalo, New York, and the Pats. Uh, Matt Miller, he said he needs to train in that 130 Death Valley heat. Yeah, I saw that today. Did you see that? It, yeah. Hottest uh, temperature on record. Like that's pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. So not not the not the correct Death Valley. That would be the one in uh, in Baton Rouge. But we are talking about the one that's over in California. 
Uh, well, yeah. And hang on. <laughs> it's a dry heat. <laughs> it is a dry heat. Uh, let's see. Michael, it, he said a little off topic. Uh, so before we before we move into this last one, he said uh, thoughts on the Cormier finger poke. Um, okay. I watched every second of this fight. Yeah. Same here. Cormier poked him in the face too. Yeah. And, and the fact that they called his and didn't call the other one, they didn't dock anybody points. They were both just warnings. Now, the first one, he missed completely, all right? Or the, sorry, the Cormier poke, he missed completely. Yeah. So, I, I think it's even. It wouldn't have changed anything. And he was pointing to his eye. Look at my eye afterwards. Look at my eye. His eye was looking like that before the finger poke. Yeah. I mean, he, he got, look, Cormier Stipe just popped him, popped him in the eye several times. And his eye was starting to swell before the finger poke. Now the finger oh, poke was bad. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying that, but he poked Stipe in the eye before that. So yeah. they both got one. It's even, and it wouldn't have docked any points or changed any points. No, it it, it, it look it was a unanimous decision, and and two of the judges had it 49-46. That means yeah. all three rounds. I mean, that's just yeah. you know, like what are you gonna do? Uh, or or by three rounds. Either way, Michael said, uh, terrible way to end a career. Do they need replay in UFC? No, I don't think they need But what would they have done if they replayed it? It, Yes, the ref said, yes, I missed it. But it doesn't change anything. It still would have been a warning. So what would have changed? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing would have changed. There you go. Because it's not a disqualifiable offense. Like, it's not going to change the outcome of anything. So. Uh, Simon Coolhand said the fish are going eight and eight this year. He said Fitzpatrick will keep Tua on the pine for the season. The team is definitely stronger than last season, and the Patriots are not as scary anymore. I might disagree yeah, but hang on. with it's that. It's not that Patriots aren't scary anymore. You're not just you're just assuming you're sweeping the Pats because you've been one and one against the Pats almost every year anyway. Yeah, it's it's not the Pats. And so even if about. you do sweep the scary Pats, it's just one win more than they've been having the last couple of years. Which I don't yeah. think the Pats are going to get swept by everybody. Are they as scary as everyone else? No, but they're still going to find ways to win I, some games. I, I'll I mean, tell you this. Coaches are still terrified of Bill Belichick. Oh, like, well, yeah. And they, should, and they should be because yeah. he is a lot better than them. Yeah. All of them. I, I think that they can be just as scary, if not scarier, because they well, will have a different offense. That defense offensive... is going to take a hit. That defense lost a, a lot. lot, a lot to opt out. Yeah. No, they absolutely did, but it, it – there are still people around the league that are going, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, are they doing this on purpose? Like, what is, what, what's the reasoning behind this? He must know something that we don't. What's going on, right? So that's, I, I think the Pats could still, I mean, you bring in a healthy Cam Newton and you change around your offense and nobody really knows what to expect. Yep. They got a shot, especially with that coaching staff, to be I've, really I, damn listen, good again. I'm not going to step on a preview. I think they're going to be just fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think they're going to be just fine. Matt Miller said the Bills are still good. They could finish second, and the Jets are 100% finishing last. Yeah, 100%. Yes. No, that's it. The Bills are really good, by the way. They're not just some good. The Bills are a quarterback away from being a Super Bowl contender. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the Jets are trash. Uh, Michael, he said, uh, I think if points get deducted, that's where replay could help UFC, not in the Cormier yes, fight. He lost but, that fair and square. Yeah, yeah. but they weren't, they weren't going to deduct points for one poke eye. Correct. Darren McArdle said, any chance they'll do 60 games next year for MLB? I don't think no. so. I, I think, too much I think we're going to end up, if all the sports play this year, they're going to play full seasons next year. Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, let's move off of that. Let's jump into the last thing. We, we've got... Man, we had a, a surge of people jump in here. Go ahead and tell everybody, Tuesdays and Thursdays,